Welcome to Mixtape 51, I'm Jade, and on this episode I am covering this uh, little mirror device in case your camera doesn't have the flippy screen. I don't know if you were like me when I was researching my Fuji X-T3. That was one of the big things I was like, oh man, the only bummer is this thing doesn't have a flippy screen. Of course, it does have the ability to come out horizontally and as well vertically, which is great. But of course, you couldn't flip it to the side so that you can um, vlog easier. And I, at this point, I've just gotten used to it. But that being said, I've, I've still always been looking for a solution that wasn't super pricey. All the ones that I had looked at previous to getting this were like 40 or 45 bucks. And I just couldn't justify spending 40 to 45 dollars for a small mirror at an angle. Like I just couldn't justify it. So what's nice about this right off the bat is that it was like around 20 bucks, just under 20 bucks. And um, and it does the job perfect. I mean, this this works really perfect. The only drawback to it is is that your numbers are upside down, uh, so that's kind of a bummer. But it's one of those things you know you get used to. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what about the app? And I've tried the app, but the app is pretty clunky. Uh, plus, it's more time consuming. You've got to get get it fired up, then you've got to connect to the camera, and then from there, it's there's um, a lot of lag and it just it's clunky so what's nice about having a little mirror solution is that it's just really quick to add to the camera all right you just slip it on there flip out your back screen and you're now good to go you can easily see your framing your settings and what's so nice about the fuji is that all your dials are so accessible so you can easily make adjustments uh you know see what your exposure is looking like through that mirror uh, along with your framing. And what's also nice is they've added a cold shoe to each side so you can still add something like a mic even though you're using your hot shoe. Real simple, real inexpensive. Uh, it, it is a little bit bulky but you know it's all plastic so it's not like you gotta be super careful with it. You can just toss it in your bag and uh, yeah you're good to go. But I hope this helped out in case you've been trying to find a solution. Of course, the links are down below. I hope you're doing well in this quarantine thing. My hair is out of control long, so I am now on permanent hat duty until I get a haircut, which sounds amazing. I cannot wait to get a haircut again. But uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.